Well, my name's Ronald McIntosh. I'll be your lead commentator for this third and final session of boxing today. And alongside us, as ever, providing co-commentary and expert analysis is 1990 Commonwealth Games gold medalist, Olympic bronze medalist and WBC super middleweight champion of the world in the professional ranks, Richie Woodall. will be getting his pearls of wisdom throughout this evening of pugilism, but saying it with his chest as he enters the arena for his fourth bout of Birmingham 2022 is 19-year-old Joseph Comey of Ghana, part of a nine-strong squad representing the self-styled Black Bombers. And he has been incredibly impressive so far. A unanimous point decision victor over Alex Mukaka, the two-time national champion of New Zealand the at the quarter-final stage to progress India. through here. Hassam Udin Mohammed. Approaching the boxing ring for his fourth bout of Birmingham 2022 is a man who made it through to this stage four years ago in his maiden Commonwealth Games tournament in the Gold Coast edition in 2018. That is Mohammed. Hussam Udin, 28 the years of age. In the men's featherweight division. Very impressive three, three over his three victories so far. Introducing to you first in the red corner, representing Ghana, Joseph Comey. And his opponent boxing out to the blue corner, representing India. Hassam Udin Mohammed. Maria Rosado of Italy with the final instructions. We are in the 57 kilogram featherweight division and this a contest between boxers up at different stages of their international careers. Different stances, different statures and it should make for a fantastic contest. The towering figure wearing red, sporting the golden coloured fade is Richard Comey, 19 years of age from Accra. His opponent is 20 year old, 28 year old Hussam Udin Mohammed. The 2018 Commonwealth Games bronze medalist at 56 kilograms from the Gold Coast edition four years ago. Both men competing in their fourth bout of Birmingham 2022 and they have been hugely impressive so far. The man in blue, despite the disparity in height and reach, is a very clever operator in and out of the pocket. The strengths are in different areas here. For Comey, he's tall, rangy. I think he's got he's got a bit of power as well, this Ghanaian boxer. Confident in his work, but his opponent has impressed me all through this tournament, Mohammed. Very clever boxer, stays on the outside and then shoots forward like that, right on cue to spring the attack. But clever south four, very mobile. Like I say, his strength is in his counter punching, but also in that movement that he's got and obviously coupled with the counter-punching style that he has. So, two impressive boxers here. They've had good tournaments, but it's who can stamp their authority on this one that will matter most now with the final coming up. Two shots without reply landed by Mohammed before Tommy went in pursuit of his man. Off the mark with his straight shots and look at how Mohammed is able to close the range get in without reply then use his gloves to defend off the shots coming in from the Ghanaian teenager yeah with Mohammed Ronald move, movement obviously is his strength like I said but just like he did there he's a very good counter attacking boxer so he waits patiently on the outside and then we'll see the spring and attack or a counter attack and the difference is an attack obviously He's, he's going forward he's, with shots to hit the target, but a counter-attack is when his opponent's about to attack and he beats him to the punch. You have to have terrific timing to do that and confidence, but that's what this Indian, uh, Indian boxer has got, Mohammed. He's got that confidence. 
fast in and out with the feet. He's very good at counter-attacking. And he's demonstrating the timing required to carry out that type of strategy as well. It's daring, it's dramatic, but he's boxing very well thus far as we approach the 10 second clapper. Right hand is perhaps Comey's best shot of the contest, but it was accounted immediately, counted immediately by a start for left from Mohammed. So a very good round of boxing from the man in blue who overcame the disadvantage that he faces in terms of reach using terrific movement. All of his experience in ring craft evident during the course of that first three minutes, making it a very difficult opening round indeed for Joseph Comey. Good work uh, from Mohammed. The movement that we spoke about, very evident here, in and out with the feet, picking his shots and picking his uh, moments. Comey's got to get to grips with this. He would, he would much prefer Mohammed to stand and trade, and then it could be different. But you box to your strengths. And Mohammed's movement is just causing all the problems for Comey. He got to grips with it a little bit the last 20 seconds or so, but the round belongs to the man in blue, no question. So a clean sweep of the cards for Hussam Udin, Hussam Udin Mohammed, including a 10-8 scorecard returned from the Sri Lankan judge. So we move into the second round, just as we're able to bring you the live scores here from Hall 4 at the NEC. The coaches often receive that information before we do. And so Comey will be aware of the fact that he's conceded the first round unanimously to his credit. He's trying to increase his intensity, but look at the difficulty he's having tagging Mohammed cleanly. To his credit, he did try to make it a two-phase attack, keep it going, rather than the single-phase attacks he was launching in the opening round. But Mohammed continuing to navigate the space of the boxing ring very well indeed. And look at how he's using his gloves as lines of defence before whipping in that southpaw left to the body. Really important for Comey to use his lead hand here to measure the distance and gap between himself and Mohammed. As he launches, he, he's always looking for the, the right hand. There it was there, you see, from Comey. But he's got to set that punch up, Ronald, with a long lead hand, try and quicken the feet up most definitely. But the pressure from Comey, this is better. I think the faster the pace, then Mohammed just gives Mohammed more problems to deal with. Right hand to the body, not too far away from Kami. Followed it with a left jab. Oh, that's a cracking left hand from Mohammed. Darted into distance, landed the left, and was away in the blink of an eye. And Mohammed's timing remaining razor sharp as we approach the midpoint of this second round. From defense into attack in an instant was covered up in a defensive posture, launched that southpaw left to the body. But Comey is a keen competitor, back again, still looking to launch that backhand. But Mohammed timing his work very effectively still, with two minutes gone. Mohammed just demonstrating his quality here, Ronald, uh, with that timing that you spoke about. That wasn't too bad from Comey, that little right uppercut, he was ready for that attack. But Mohammed's timing at the moment is very good indeed. In and out with the, with the feet. Good judgment of distance. Stays on the outside, then springs the odd attack here and there, and counter-attack that we spoke about. But the, the increase uh, in work rate from Comey is better. It's given Mohammed more problems. Good work to the body from Mohammed, but Comey continuing to... Swing away, final right hand, landed to the left flank. My goodness, he sent that right hand, second class delivery. And now it's a tangle on the inside, neither man working away. Mohammed draped all over him. Kami with the arm bar beneath the neck, beneath the chin, into the neck of Mohammed. Solid left hand landed. Beautiful right hand from Mohammed. He landed that, launching it from the other side of the ring. Left his feet and still found the range. While well, Comey continued to press at a higher tempo all round long, but his aggression neutralized by the brilliant ring craft demonstrated by Hussam Adin Mohammed. But credit to Comey for upping it after conceding the first round unanimously. A much better round for the man in red. Increased the intensity, and there was that right uppercut that he caught Mohammed with. So he's getting to grips with these fast raiding attacks from his opponent and he's catching him coming in. It's a close round, um, but Mohammed 
Sorry, uh, Kami certainly worked harder uh, and may have got a share of the, uh, of the round here. Let's have a look. Well, there you go. He's actually won the round. Has Kami there. And look at that. Four scores are even. So this is anybody's contest now. What well, a fantastic response from Kami. Mohamed taking it for judge one, but Kami taking it for judges two, three, four, and five. So as we go into the four, third and final round, it is all square. 19 points apiece on four of the five scorecards. Judge one. Now's Mohamed, 2017 ahead after a 10 8 verdict was returned in this opening round. So Kami. His aggression rewarded from the judges at ringside. Can he maintain this intensity? I thought Mohammed's punch picking was effective in the second round, but the front foot pressure by Komi has been rewarded by four of the five judges in that second round. Well, the difference now, Ron, is Komi's not giving him any, any time. So what Mohammed needs, you see, with that movement, he needs time and space. And Kami's denying him that, he's on that front foot. It's a bit scrappy here and there, and I think the quality of the punching is with the man in blue. But you can't ignore the, the front foot pressure and aggression from Kami, and the judges have awarded him uh, for, for that style. It's whether he can keep it going, and what can Mohammed do here? How can he respond? We know his quality, but he's got to step it up here, and the man in blue. See Mohammed remaining concentrated but breathing through a mouth that is open. And look at the man who is initiating the clinches. It's the more compact boxer, the man who you would assume is more ideally suited for working on the interior, but he's got no interest in doing so. Instead, he's keen to gain a respite. Whereas Kami, the 19-year-old, just wants to let his hands go. He resembles a basketball player right now. His jersey is out of his shorts. Referee Mir Rizada, Maria Rizada is no doubt going to have to call time to have that jersey adjusted, but that's a whipping right hand bolo sunk into Mohammed's torso. And Kami looking for that same shot again. Counter left hand's an effective shot, but it's Mohammed who is keen to hold on. I think he's feeling the pace here. Yep, most Mohammed. certainly. Kami here has upped, upped it again. He's gone to another level going through the gears, and Mohammed is failing to respond here. He's got to up the tempo as Mohammed quicken the feet. The vest comes out again, so well, this will probably suit Mohammed. Absolutely. Because, you know, that, that, that bit of um, a few seconds extra rest here will suit the man in blue. Kami straight back out to centre ring, looking to close the distance on his man. And again, it's Mohammed who's holding on. He's going to have to watch how he conducts himself in that regard. Because he won't want to pick up a warning for that infringement. But Kami will not be denied as he continues to press. And the movement of Mohammed, which is usually so sharp. Well, he's not able to demonstrate that here now. Look at that. He's trying to launch a sneak attack, attack and then cling his man to allow the clock to run down. But Maria Rosado hip to that veteran's move. It's actually good boxing here from Kami because he's not coming over his front foot. That's what Mohammed's doing. Mohammed's trying to draw him over the front foot, but he's not having it. What he's doing is measuring better with his jab and using the right uppercut. In fact, it's Kami who's drawing the lead of Mohammed here. So yes, pretty impressive indeed oh. from the man in red, and he just keeps going. He most certainly does. And I think his aggression could be rewarded because the man in blue started brilliantly, but Garner's Richard Kami in the second round responded magnificently. He would not give Hussam Adin Mohammed any time to rest. I thought Mohammed's cleaner punching may have been enough, been enough to give him the second round. But I don't think there's any doubt about who has taken the third because Kami was a non-stop punching machine from opening bell to last. Well, if they've given the, the second round, um, Kami, there was only one winner there in that third round. I mean, Kami just, he, he's outworked Mohammed here who was trying to draw Kami over the front foot, but Kami wasn't having any of it at all and just kept the punches going, stayed uh, better and well balanced, never made the mistakes. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to your judges' scorecards where we have a split decision. For your winner, progressing into the Commonwealth Games finals in the red corner. Joseph Comey lets out a battle cry.
of Go pure exaltation. The man who came into the ring saying it with his chest. He's pounding that chest now in celebratory fashion because he has just eliminated one of the best boxers in the Commonwealth. Hussam Adin Mohammed took the opening round across the board and teen sensation Joseph Comey responded magnificently in the second round. I thought the quality punching of Hussam Adin Mohammed may have been enough to edge round two but it went unanimously, oh, excuse me, 4-1 in favour of Kami. And he not only continued that trend in the third round, he raised his level again, non-stop punching. And for the second consecutive Commonwealth Games, it is a bronze medal for Hossam Adin Mohammed. But Joseph Kami of the self-styled Black Bombers from the Black Star West African nation, goes through to contest Commonwealth Games gold and burnishing that golden colored fade that he had hooked up fresh for Birmingham and he's in contention for Commonwealth Games gold in the final tomorrow what a performance an incredible display there after losing the first round Mohammed you just thought it was more of the same but Kami just upped his work rate quickened the tempo and Mohammed couldn't really cope with that and then he's carried it on into the third round. And yes, he's won the contest. He's outworked his opponent. Mohammed can't quite believe it. Lots of skill, lots of talent, the Indian boxer, but he's just been outworked by this.